Hello everyone, this is the historiographer. It is the early days of 1944, and Polish soldiers along with British, American and other members of the Allied Armada are desperately fighting against Nazi forces for each hill in the rugged terrain of the Apennine Mountains in Italy, a fight whose ultimate objective is the ancient town of Cassino just a few hours away from Rome. Polish soldiers charged with manning the right flank of the Allied attack on the town are fighting fiercely to avenge the sudden invasion of their homeland by Hitler's forces five years earlier. In the battle, Polish artillery pieces endlessly bombard German fortifications, reloading and shooting shells at a stunning pace. They are aided by one very strong soldier, with almost superhuman strength, lifting the massive ammunition boxes of the British-supplied 25-pounder artillery in order to supply the crescendo of fire raining down upon German trenches. However, this was not a strong human soldier, but an actual enlisted bear soldier helping the Polish 2nd Corps in their struggle. Meet Private Wojtek. On the 1st of September 1939, Hitler invaded Poland and annexed the western part of it. That same month, on the 17th, Stalin invaded and annexed eastern Poland. As a result, thousands of Polish citizens were either killed or sent to work in Siberia in the dreaded conditions of Stalin's gulags. However, in 1941, Hitler ordered his troops to invade the Soviet Union, therefore directly violating the German-Soviet non-aggression pact that was signed in 1939. As a response to Hitler's invasion, Stalin ordered the release of Polish prisoners in order to aid in Hitler's confrontation by forming a Polish army under Soviet supervision, an army which was led by Lieutenant General Władysław Anders. Yet, in 1942, these Polish soldiers, along with thousands of other Polish citizens, were transferred to Iran under a British-Soviet deal. At a railway station in Hamadan in Iran on 8 April 1942, Polish soldiers found a young Iranian boy who had found a bear cub whose mother had most likely been shot by hunters. Soldiers, seeing the state of the bear, refused to let the bear cub go, and they adopted the cub from the boy. The bear was named Wojtek which means happy warrior in Old Slavic. Wojtek was taken care of by the soldiers of the 22nd Artillery Supply Company of the now Polish 2nd Corps soldiers under British command. His main caretakers were the two soldiers Henryk Zakharevich and Demit Shavlugo. The cub was regularly fed army rations, as well as fruit, honey and syrup. As for beverages, funnily enough, beer was Wojtek's favorite drink along with coffee which he consistently drank in the mornings, all while smoking and eating cigarettes given to him by the soldiers. The young cub enjoyed wrestling with the Polish soldiers, and he was even taught to salute when greeted. As such, Wojtek became an attraction for soldiers and civilians alike, and his popularity grew to such an extent that he became an unofficial mascot to all the units stationed nearby. With the 22nd company, he moved from Iran to Iraq, and then through Syria, Palestine, and finally Egypt, all of which were under Allied control. From Egypt, the Polish 2nd Corps was reassigned to fight alongside the British Army in the ongoing Italian campaign. However, a problem encountered the Polish servicemen, as British transport ship regulations forbade the carrying of pet animals. As a result, Wojtek was officially drafted into the Polish 2nd Corps as a private and hence given his own paybook, rank, and serial number, and ultimately able to partake in the Italian expedition. In Italy, Wojtek continued to live with his fellow comrades. His baptism of fire came during the Battle of Monte Cassino, lasting from 7 January to 18 May 1944, which pitted Allied soldiers against the defending units of the German Wehrmacht. Wojtek helped his artillery company to transport ammunition by carrying crates weighing hundreds of pounds. Wojtek learned to do this when he saw and copied the men of his company who were lifting ammo crates. Indeed, in the heat of battle, Wojtek carried boxes that normally required four men to do so. Interestingly, his service at Monte Cassino earned him a promotion to the rank of corporal, and in recognition of Wojtek's actions, a depiction of a bear carrying an artillery shell was adopted as the official emblem of the 22nd Company. After the end of the Second World War in 1945, Wojtek was moved to Berwickshire in Scotland with the rest of the 22nd Company. He soon became popular among local civilians and the press, and the Polish-Scottish Association made him an honorary member. However, after the demobilization in 15 November 1947, Wojtek was given to Edinburgh Zoo. There, 
he spent the rest of his life, often visited by journalists and former Polish soldiers, some of whom tossed cigarettes for him to eat, as he did during his time in the army. He still happily responded to being spoken to in Polish, recognizing many of his former comrades. Sadly, Wojtek died in December 1963, at the age of 21. From his origins as a cub in Iran to his retirement in a zoo in Scotland, Wojtek the soldier bear still remains in the hearts of Polish citizens, and to this day, Wojtek has monuments in various Polish cities honoring his contributions. If you like this video, subscribe to spread Wojtek's fascinating story. This has been The Historiographer, and for now, have a good one.